So let's take a look at a couple problems involving normal lines to curves. Remember that normal lines are lines that are essentially perpendicular to tangent lines. Let's start by just looking at this example where we want to find the equation of the normal line to the curve y equals x squared minus x at the point 412. So the first thing we want to do is to take just draw a quick sketch of this parabola to see what it looks like. If you look at the parabola, the y-intercept when you plug x is equal to 0 in is 0, so it goes through the origin. And the x-intercepts are obviously a 0 since it goes through the origin. And if you set y equal to 0, you notice that 1 is also an x-intercept, or a root, if you will, a 0 of the polynomial. And since the parabola points up, because it's positive x squared, it looks kind of like this, right? And the point 412 is about here. And if I was to, to draw the tangent line, it kind of follow the parabola like this. It's a linear approximation of the parabola. So the normal line would be perpendicular to that. It'd be like something like this, right? It kind of goes through the curve at like a right angle. It's supposed to following the curve, which is what the tangent line does. And so the question is, what's the equation of this line? This is the one that we're looking at. Well, in order to find the equation of a line, we need a point and a slope. And we already have a point. It's given to us. 412 is that point. So all we need to do is to find a slope. And to find a slope of the normal line, well, we don't know how to do that quite directly. So we got to approach it from the tangent line. Let's find a slope of the tangent line, which is given to us by the derivative. And the derivative here is 2x minus 1, since the function is x squared minus x. And then, let's see, x is 4. We want to plug that in here. So the slope of the tangent line, notice that I didn't just write m. I wrote m tangent because now I'm going to have two slopes in this problem. So this is 2 times 4 minus 1, or 7. And since the um, normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line, m normal, or sometimes we write m with a little perpendicular sign, that's going to be the negative reciprocal of the slope of the, tan of the tangent line. Because if you remember from Algebra 1, the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of each other. Practically, that means I gotta put a negative sign in front of the 7, because it's a positive thing to begin with, and then I'm gonna flip it to 1 over 7. And so now I have the slope, and I have the point, which is 412, and so I can use the point slope form y equals, oh sorry, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The point was 412, so this is y minus 12 equals m times x minus 4, and the slope is negative 1, 7. So this is the line, or the equation of the li normal line in point slope form. And if you want to, or if you need to, you can also turn it into a, um, an equation in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Let's look at the second problem here. Where does the normal line to the graph of y equals x squared minus x at 1, 0 intersect the parabola again? So let's go back and look at the diagram. Now, I didn't finish drawing this diagram to be kind of completely, but if you notice, if I extended this purple normal line all the way to the left, it's going to hit the parabola somewhere up here on in the second quadrant. So our question is, well, what, where does it hit that line? Well, remember that intersections between curves can be derived from taking the equations of those curves or lines and solving them simultaneously. So we have y equals x squared minus x, and then we have the equation of the normal line, which we already got, which is y minus 12 equals minus 1 over 7 x minus 4. 
So basically, now we just have to solve these two equations simultaneously to find the points of intersection. One of them, obviously, is going to be 412, because that's where the normal line originated from. OK, let's solve these two equations simultaneously. The easiest way to do that is to do substitution, because the first one's already written in terms of y equals, so we can just plug that in the second one. And so we have x squared minus x minus 12 equals, I'll multiply this out, minus x over 7, minus, or plus actually, 4 over 7. Um, I don't want a denominator sitting around, so I'll multiply everything by 7. And 7 times 12 is 84. That's equal to minus x plus 4, because the denominators are gone. Then if we bring everything to the left, we're going to get 7x squared minus 6x minus 88 equals 0. Um, you could, I guess, try to factor this, but there are so many possibilities, it may actually be easier to use the quadratic formula, which, if you remember, is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And that would mean that this is going to be positive 6 plus or minus 36 minus 4 times 7 times minus 88 all over 2a. And I, don't actually, I shouldn't actually be writing 2a because a is 7, so this is 14. And if you do the math out, this is going to be equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 2500 over 14, or 6 plus or minus 50 over 14, that's 56 over 14, and negative 44 over 14. 56 over 14 is 4, because 4 times 14 is 56. So we already know that one, but the, but the other one, negative 44 over 14, that's a new one. And if we simplify this, this is going to be negative 22 over 7. And so x equals negative 22 over 7, which is a little bit over negative 3, right? or a little bit below negative 3, I should say. So somewhere on the left here is where these two, is where these, this normal line and this parabola will intersect again. And the, thing, the crucial part in here is that, in this part of the problem, is that we had to set the two equations equal to each other or use substitution to solve them simultaneously in order to find a point of intersection. And when we got a quadratic equation, because we didn't really want to factor it, the easiest way of doing that was to use the quadratic formula, which gives us these two x values.